Morning boys and girls, welcome back to Assembly. It's Colin here for another week. Today we're going to be going to Cross Scar and learn about the ejector seats. Before that, let's sing Everybody Everywhere. <laughs> Jesus is alive. Where are we going to today? Well, don't forget we're representing Northern Ireland for 100 days. And this is Northern Ireland map. This is what we're doing. And today we're going to go to Cross Scar. If you know where Lisburn is, it's not far from Lisburn, not far from Belfast. And it's in about here. Here we go, all the way to Cross Scar. Boys and girls, today we are in the centre of Cross Scar. It's a, a country town in the middle of County Down. And in the square, in the centre of the little town, you'll come across a monument. Many towns have got monuments of people, of places uh, to remember something. But here in, in Cross Scar, we remembered a little boy. He was born in 1893. This wee boy was called James, uh, James Martin, and he's famous, he's world renowned for inventing something. Do any of you know what he invented? Well, according to this little plaque, and if you look, look it up, he invented the ejector seat. If you imagine you're in an airplane, you're flying an airplane, you're a pilot maybe in the war, and if your aircraft has been hit, by the enemy, by a missile, and it's going to crash, it's out of control, but then when you hit that button, immediately your seat will be ejected out of the plane, and your life can be rescued, because attached to this would have been an, a parachute, and it would have brought you right down to safety into the ground, but it was such a wonderful invention. This invention alone has saved over 7,500 lives. Many wars, many battles, many countries were contacting the company of James Martin to get him to, to, to just supply and manufacture uh, these ejector seats for their war, for their aircraft as they would fight the battles, especially in Second World War. The government contacted James Martin so that all the planes and the, and the army across the world could have these ejector seats fitted to their planes. So whenever the pilots sat in their planes, go to fight their battles with the war, in the war, they knew they were, if their airplane was hit, which many of them were, they knew if they hit a button, they would be ejected into safety. Sometimes they were, they would be into enemy territory. Many of their, many 
lost their lives, but over 7,000 lives were saved. So even this wee boy, as a teenager, he had a wonderful creative mind. So it's good when you're at school. That's why it's so important to learn, to study, to learn well. And have it. that's a God-given gift, to have a creative mind, to be able to do something that you enjoy, and to be an inventor. What was his purpose? This purpose of this particular ejector seat was to save lives. So I can't, I can't get away from the, the message of the Bible whenever I think about this, because that's the very purpose that the Lord Jesus came into this world, was to save lives, to save lives. That's why he died on the cross, to save us, because the Bible says Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. This wee boy, James, not only when he grew up did he invent ejector seats, but whenever you read about him, he invented all also a, a three-wheel car. Do you ever see a three-wheel car? A, a two wheels in the front, one in the back. He was one of the inventors who invented that. Also a, a bicycle with a hood. See, many years ago before cars were popular or common, many people would have gone to work or gone to school in the bike. When it's really wet weather, rainy weather, they would need it to... You can't really ride a bike with an umbrella or, or not often all of them had a, a coat, but he invented a hood that would actually go over the tricycle uh, so that when the person riding with their family or their child, they would not get wet in the rain. He also invented a fish fryer. I would imagine a fish fryer, a frying pan for frying fish. <laughs> I don't know what a fish fryer is, but he invented a fish fryer and I just know fish and chips is absolutely lovely. But also ammunition tools to do with ammunition and machine guns, also trucks. So you find when one of these people were able to invent one thing, their mind would go over time and they'd able to invent many things. Like we talked about Har Harry Ferguson. Not only did he in, in fact invent the three point linkage, but also the tractor, not just one tractor, but many tractors. And not only the ply on the back of a tractor, but many other different things. So whenever it's like leading, a conversation leading on to something else. Whenever I think of the inventor, imagine I'm flying an airplane as a pilot and I know that's under me. I know I'm going to be safe because if my airplane has been hit, I can hit the button immediately and be ejected into freedom into the air. That's like me as a Christian. I know no matter what happens to me in life, if I'm struck down or have a fatal accident, I know immediately I will go to be with the Lord Jesus in heaven. In fact, whenever I think of Jesus when he died on the cross and then he rose again from the dead, for about 40 days he was here on this earth. And then what happened? He brought his disciples together and the Bible says he ascended or he ejected right up into the heaven, right up into heaven to be with God his Father. And one day he's coming back again. Then the Bible tells us uh, one day all the people who have died in the Lord Jesus will rise again from the dead or be ejected out of the earth and go to be with God forever in heaven. So even this, this man here, whenever we talk about the ejector seat, it brings parallels about, and lessons for me about life and what life's all about. It's about God. But also this little boy when he was in school, he must have loved to learn. He must have loved to read and to write and to study and also use his mind. Sometimes we can just rely on reading and everything without searching it for ourselves. So just don't, just don't listen to what I say about the Bible. Read the Bible for yourself and see what God has to teach you. And ask God, whatever gift you have or talent, ask God to help you to use it and to develop it. That's why going to school is important. The teachers are there to educate you and to teach you. But whatever gift you have, you can develop that while you're at school. So there's so many wonderful lessons. And James Martin from Cross Gar, little he knows a little baby, as a young boy, primary school age, that his uh, brain would be developed to developing such a wonderful thing as an ejector seat that would be used all across the world. Right across the world, people would be contacting him. In many of the wars like Vietnam or, or, or the wars that America or Australia or Britain or Ireland were involved in, all those countries, all their, or their armies, they needed these seats put into their planes and they would contact James Martin's company to get those seats put in. Why? Because they wanted, first of all, the safety of their pilots. They wanted them to be saved whenever if, they, if, their, if their aircraft was struck, otherwise they would die. And because of this invention, I think I said before, seven over 7,500 uh, pilots were saved as a result of this. Can you imagine how confident they went? And that's like confidence I have. I don't need to fear about dying, not in an airplane, about, or falling off a bike or crashing, because I know I will be immediately with God forever in heaven. So James Martin, all the way from a little boy from County Down, literally he realized he would be the inventor, not just of this here, but of other things like frying fish, a fish pan, 
anything to do with ammunition in the war or to do with hoods over a tricycle. So as he was developing, developing one thing, his mind was going into another thing and another thing. It's like a wee bit for me like reading. Whenever you read one book, you'll want to read another book and another book and another book. It's about learning for learning about God. The more you learn about God, the more you'll want to learn about God. And the more you talk about God, the more you'll want to talk about Him. And the more you talk to God, the more you'll want to talk to Him. That's the way life works. And you've only one life. So that's why I love to learn about people, especially people who come from my own country, Northern Ireland. And many These people are gone, but they're not forgotten. That's why this monument's here. That's why this plaque is here. The local council wants to remember this man for doing this. I wonder how you'll be remembered. You might not, not be remembered for developing or inventing something, but how will someone remember you as a person, as a child at school? Were you good at learning? Did you like to play? Were you a nice person to be around? All these things are important. And that's why God helps us to be a nice person, to be a pleasant person. And all God wants for us in return is to praise him, to love him, and to give our heart and our life to him. So remember next time you're in an airplane, should you ever fly again or ever fly for the first time? Remember the pilot and remember the ejector seat. If anything goes wrong, he can hit the button and fly and be led to safety as the airplane goes off. So just a little lesson today for a little boy called James Martin here in Cross Gar. Wonderful educational visit about the ejector seat, James Martin and Cross Scar. If you imagine flying an airplane, there's a problem, you hit the ejector seat, you fly out up into the air and you're going to end up possibly landing on the water. So let's sing the wee song, Deep Deep Deep. <laughs> Can we go to learn about God? That's all for today. We're back again tomorrow. See you.